Senator Megan Hunt, thank you so much for taking the time. You've had a busy, busy couple of weeks. <laughs> thank you very much, Jen. I'm so happy to be on here with you. So I wanted to, you have a 13 year old son who came out as transgender just a couple of years ago, and you have been fighting like hell. I think it's fair to say against efforts to limit care and to really elevate this issue um, as one as a human rights issue. Tell me a little bit more for people who haven't been paying attention to your fight, what's been going on uh, in Nebraska and why this is so important to you. Well, thank you so much. I know that you had my friend and colleague, Senator Michaela Kavanaugh on here. I did. And she is like the greatest of all time, mm -hmm. but we have been working together with like the strongest coalition of legislators I've ever worked with against the most devastating group of um, bills that have ever been introduced in the state of Nebraska. It feels like in Nebraska, we have this really strong tradition of nonpartisanship and mm -hmm. independent thinking in our, in our legislature. And because of that, we have never before had a total abortion ban. We've never before had these kinds of anti-trans bills that yeah. we've seen introduced in other states for you know over a decade. But in Nebraska, it's finally come here and we've been fighting it tooth and nail with everything we have procedurally, in the press, um, on the streets, at the doors, every way that we can to protect the rights of our neighbors here in Nebraska. So just yesterday, uh, the governor did sign a bill uh, that um, including a 12 week abortion ban, one that does limit trans health care, uh, puts restrictions into law. I, I want to ask you just about this trans health care bill. What does that mean? I mean, you have a son who's trans. What exactly would that mean as it's implemented? What impact would that have on people? Well, the way this bill is worded to end up getting like some of the more self-proclaimed moderates on board yeah. is it's delegating the responsibility to regulate puberty blockers and um, hormone treatments to the chief medical officer of the state. Sounds good, right? Yeah. Sounds like a good Sounds job almost reasonable. I'm betting right. you're going to tell me it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. And the chief medical officer in Nebraska is appointed by our governor. Um it can change at any time. And, you know, in Nebraska, we've had chief medical officers who were ear, nose and throat doctors, who were veterinarians, mm -hmm. who were chiropractors. And I just don't feel comfortable allowing somebody who doesn't have training in this specific area of medicine and who is a political appointee to be in charge of the rules and regulations around transgender health care, any health care whether it's reproductive health care or mm -hmm. transgender, gender affirming care, none of that is appropriate. We should listen to doctors. We should listen to scientists at the American Medical Association and Academy of Pediatrics who tell us the standard of care is fine and we shouldn't be messing with it. So what could this chief medical officer do? They could just decide um, no minor can receive any sort of trans health care or That's they can right. only what, what, what is their scope of, of power, I guess? That's right. Um, the chief medical officer who is already on the record, already in the press and at different hearings, saying that he doesn't support the right to trans health care, that he thinks that um, that parents of trans kids are groomers, you know, any of the like very um, stereotypical and bad messaging that you're hearing from the far right, that's what he's already conveyed. And so I think we can expect him to completely ban healthcare and puberty blockers and hormone treatments and everything for trans youth under 19 in Nebraska. In, ni in Nebraska, our age of medical consent and medical majority is 19 and we're the only state. So we would actually have a ban on care even for 18 year olds in Nebraska. So how do you have these conversations with your 13-year-old son? I mean, 13 is young, but you're still very aware of what's happening around you. I'm sure he's watching you um, be vocal. What do you, how do you talk about it? Well, I'm so proud of him. I mean, I he's fine, by the way. Like, I'll tell your viewers, like, he's fine. Um, all trans kids and trans people in Nebraska and the people who love them are not fine. Yeah. But I ask him, like, Ash, why are you so chill? Like. I'm losing yeah. my mind. Like, why yeah. are you doing so fine? And he's like, well, I'm not going to live in Nebraska. So it doesn't really matter to me. Like, I'm not going to stay like, once I can leave. I, I'm going to leave Nebraska. 
Exactly. And I hate to hear that. But at the same time, I said, well, what about all the other people who can't leave Nebraska? What about all the other people who have to stay here? And he said, well, that's why I testified against the bill. And I mean, what more can we ask people to do? You have to put your own health and your own mental well-being first while using the resources you have to fight for the other people who can't. And that's all he did. He came in here to testify against the bill. The son of a senator came and talked about his personal experiences. And none of that was enough to reach my colleagues who know us, who know him, who know us as a family. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm going to stay here and fight, but nobody would blame anybody who is living in a state where their rights are under attack for looking elsewhere for their future. Well, I, I, there's a moment that was online that I, people who haven't seen you should look this up and just where you say um, you're asking people to love your family more than uh, more. You love your family, love their family more than they hate yours. I want to paraphrase it in the correct way. And, you know, it stuck with me because I can't understand. I, I don't have a trans child at this point. I mean, my children are young. I don't at this point have a trans child, but I, what did they uh, why do why is this the issue that people that why is this the hill people want to die on? It's really I, I don't understand it, but you've been in the middle of the fight. Uh, why is this the issue that that so many people um, in the legislature there and around the country want to fight over? I don't know. I don't know if I knew I'd fix, it. you know, I you, you can look on Twitter or look in magazines and read a hundred features about why people think this is, why our politics have gotten so radicalized. You know, I didn't know I had a trans child either. I mean, I, I didn't know I had a trans child until a couple of years ago. And I was trying to make my colleagues understand who have known me for so long and known my family for so long. Don't think that this couldn't be you. Don't mm -hmm. think that you couldn't have a niece or a nephew or a grandchild or a kid or someone who matters to you in your life come out to you as trans. And because of your votes here, because of your rhetoric, because of these stereotypes and disgusting language that you're putting forward in the rhetoric, those people probably won't feel safe coming out to you. I mean, when you support these laws and these bills, you're making the world a less a less safe place for your kids and your grandkids and your family. And you think this doesn't touch you or have anything to do with you, but nothing could be farther of the truth. I, I agree with that quote that um, there's no such thing as other people's children. Mm -hmm. Anything that would affect one child, I have to care about just the same as if it was mine. And I wish my colleagues felt the same way. Yeah, I wish I wish more people would feel that way about a lot of issues, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> Well, Senator Megan Hunt, thank you so much for your fight, for standing up for not just your son, but so many kids across Nebraska and for being so vocal on such an important issue. It was a real pleasure talking to you today. Jen, thank you. Great to meet you. Yeah.